Henrietta Lacks. By Allison Wilmer and Sydney Esler. Henrietta's life was long and difficult. She married her cousin Day and had four children. Their names were Lawrence, Elsie, Sonny, and Deborah. Later in Henrietta's life, she was experiencing severe pain in her stomach and womb. Her relatives finally convinced her to see a doctor at John Hopkins Hospital. After several weeks of trying to seek treatment and avoiding the hospital, she was finally diagnosed with cervical cancer. One of the main doctors involved in Henrietta's treatment and medical experience was Dr. Guy. During Henrietta's treatment, Guy was taking and studying Henrietta's cells without her knowledge and consent. Guy was interested in Henrietta's cells after finding out that they were the first immortal cells. He gave these cells to many research centers around the world, creating the most famous cells in research. Months later, Henrietta died from the spread of her cancer and the poor treatment from the doctors at John Hopkins. Our main focus for this project is the lack of human decency in and after Henrietta's life. We students believe that the treatment of the patients throughout and after <laughs> Henrietta's life was unjust and unacceptable. Four main characters that we are focusing on in this project are Rebecca Skalut, Dr. Makuzic, Deborah Lax, and Dr. Southam. The two that we will explain farther are Dr. Makuzic and Dr. Southam. The first doctor that we are going to explain is Dr. Makuzic. Dr. McCusick lied to the Lax family about the experiments. He checked the family's genetics for traces of HeLa cells instead of cancer like Henrietta. And he was a part of misguided research of the HeLa cells. The next doctor we will explain is Dr. Southam. He conducted unethical experiments to see if the HeLa cells would affect other people and cause cancer. He put the cells in a woman's arm like she was a lab rat, and this caused cancer to grow in her arm. In conclusion, we think that Henrietta's care from John Hopkins was unethical and immoral. Many people throughout her life supported her, but many people also created conflicts, such as Dr. McCusick and Dr. Southam.